from a vibrant neon viper to a serpent that could take out an army with one bite. In this video, we look at the most venomous snakes in the world. Number 10. Yellow-Bellied Sea Snake this snake is also known as the pelagic sea snake or yellow-bellied sea snake, and it's found in tropical waters all around the world. Depending on how observant you are, you probably guessed that this serpent got its name due to the coloring of its abdomen. The underbellied portion of this slithering creature is a two-hue pattern of yellow and brownish black, so it's easy to tell this species apart from other sea snakes. The yellow-bellied sea snake lives its entire life in the deep blue abyss and has no problem operating smoothly in the water. These snakes are also ovoviviparous, meaning they give birth to wriggling live young instead of the soft-shelled eggs we so commonly associate with reptiles. The pelagic sea snake is one of the most widely distributed in the world, thus chances of coming into contact with one are pretty significant, especially if you're enjoying a beachside vacation. They grow up to 35 inches long, and their venom is extremely potent. It contains various neurotoxins and two isotoxins, and causes muscle and kidney damage as well as paralysis. Luckily, there's an anti-venom. There haven't been any recorded fatalities in Australian waters, but there have been in other places. Number 9. Boom Slang this oddly named serpent is the only member of the Dysphalidus genus. Boom slang means tree snake in Dutch and Afrikaans. They grow up to six feet long and their eyes are unusually large. They come in a lot of different colors, including light green, brown, and some black and blue accents. The boom slang is found in sub-Saharan Africa and is arboreal. Surprisingly, this snake is quite scared of things that are too big for it to eat. So it flees from any potential threats and spends most of its time hiding. It mostly eats chameleons and other lizards that live in trees. It also consumes birds, eggs, and small mammals. Although you most likely won't meet one of these serpents face to face. If you did, things probably wouldn't end well for you. The boom sling has extremely potent venom and significantly sized fangs. Its venom is mostly a hemotoxin, meaning that it stops the coagulation of blood and can lead to internal and external bleeding that could result in a fatality. The toxin is slow acting, allowing time for bite victims to get anti-venom. But some people believe that the wound isn't serious after a few hours and pass away because they don't seek treatment. Number 8. King Cobra, also known as the Hamadryad. This snake is found in forests in India and throughout Southeast Asia. King Cobras usually grow up to 13 feet long, but the longest ever recorded was over 19 feet. Its abdomen is generally cream or yellow colored and it has smooth scales. They also have two fangs in the front of their mouths. They deliver venom-like needles. Plus, king cobras are excellent hunters. They have amazing eyesight, and their forked tongues are used to detect scents. So these snakes can spot moving prey from about 330 feet away. The king cobra usually feeds on other snakes, like pythons and rat snakes. But it will eat lizards, rodents, birds, and other small animals when snakes aren't readily available. These slithering creatures will try to escape when faced with a predator, but if they are provoked repeatedly, they will become extremely aggressive. The king cobra's venom is mostly made up of neurotoxins, and it is capable of causing a fatality with a single bite. The victim will experience blurred vision, drowsiness, pain, vertigo, and paralysis if not treated with anti-venom. However, people have passed away just 30 minutes after being bitten, Number 7. Banded Crate This colorful critter lives in Southeast Asia. It can grow up to nearly 7 feet long and is pretty easy to identify. You might not ever see a banded crate unless you're at the zoo, but if you happen to stumble across one in the wild, then don't go anywhere near it. Its colors scream danger, and you should pay attention to the warning. The banded crate has yellow and black horizontal stripes that cover its entire body. In fact, the name of its genus, Bungarus, comes from the Telugu word for gold. Even if you live in Southeast Asia, 
you probably still won't run into one. Banded crates are timid, and they don't want to have interactions with people. Plus, they're nocturnal. Even when they're bothered, they often won't strike, but if they do decide to latch onto you, then you need to seek medical attention quickly. Like the King Cobra, the banded crate's venom consists mostly of neurotoxins. Those who suffer envenomation will experience abdominal pain, dizziness, vomiting, and if the bite is severe, respiratory failure. This will result in suffocation. Number 6. Black Mamba Although Uma Thurman is just as dangerous as the Black Mamba she's named after in Kill Bill, we're only talking about the snake here. And it doesn't use a sword when it's hunting. But it doesn't need one. The Black Mamba is native to Sub-Saharan Africa. After the King Cobra, this snake is the second longest venomous asp. They usually grow over six and a half feet long, but there have been reports of Black Mambas reaching nearly 15 feet in length. They are arboreal and terrestrial, and they inhabit all sorts of areas, including woodlands, savannas, and rocky regions. So they're found just about everywhere in their native land. Plus, they can move at about 10 miles per hour over short distances and have hardly any natural predators. Even if you saw one of these snakes, you wouldn't want to go near it. They look threatening. Black mambas have coffin-shaped heads. Gunmetal, olive, or brown scales, and the insides of their mouths are black. Plus, their fangs are nearly a quarter of an inch long. The black mamba is one of the most feared snakes because it's large, aggressive, and has exceptionally potent venom, which is primarily made of neurotoxins. Early symptoms include drooping eyelids, called ptosis, a metallic taste, and bulbar palsy, symptoms caused by the impairment of cranial nerves. Other signs are severely constricted pupils, problems speaking, trouble swallowing and breathing, involuntary muscle contractions, and the ones we discussed in previous sections. Without hasty medical treatment, a black mamba victim could pass away quickly. Number 5. Tiger Snake The tiger snake is found throughout South Australia, including Tasmania. It isn't called a tiger snake because it eats tigers, however. The name comes from its coloration. Their pattern is similar to that of the giant orange and black striped cat. But they aren't always as bright a hue. They usually reach about 4 feet long and can be yellow, orange-brown, olive, or black. Between 2005 and 2015, 17% of recorded snake bites were caused by tiger snakes. Their venom contains coagulants, neurotoxins, hemolysins, and myotoxins, which can cause severe necrosis. If left untreated, bites result in fatalities 40 to 60% of the time. Number 4. Coastal Taipan Also known as the Common Taipan, this snake is found in northern and eastern Australia and New Guinea. It is Australia's lengthiest venomous serpent, reaching 6.5 feet on average. However, the longest reported specimen was 9.5 feet. When threatened, the coastal taipan will try to escape most of the time. However, if the danger persists, it will become aggressive and could strike several times. Its venom contains tycotoxin, a neurotoxin that prevents blood from clotting and affects the nervous system. After just 30 minutes, a coastal taipan bite can cause a fatality. If the victim goes untreated, the risk of a casualty is 100%. Number 3. Saw Scaled Viper these snakes are also called carpet vipers and are found in dry areas of Africa and the Middle East. There are currently 12 saw-scaled viper species on record. They usually only grow up to 35 inches long, but some are only 12 inches long. When they are threatened, saw-scaled vipers form coils in a C-shape and begin rubbing them together. This produces a sound similar to water sizzling on a hot plate. Carpet vipers will strike if the threat persists. The venom contains chitotoxins and hemotoxins, preventing a bite victim's blood from coagulating. Saw-scaled vipers are regarded as the species responsible for the most snake bites and fatalities in the world. Number 2. Eastern Brown This asp is also known as the common brown snake. It is native to central and eastern Australia and the southern region of New Guinea. 
It generally grows up to about five feet long, but the lengthiest ever recorded was about eight feet. The eastern brown's color ranges from dark to pale brown, but it can also be russet, orange, olive, black, or gray-brown hue. Its tongue is dark, and its pupils are black, with a yellow or orange ring around them. They are active during the day and are commonly found near people's houses and farms because they mostly hunt rodents. So if you ever run into one, run away quickly! These serpents are responsible for around 60% of Australia's fatal snake bites. The eastern brown is only outdone by the inland taipan regarding its venomous qualities, the neurotoxins of which can be terminal if a bite is left untreated. Number 1. Inland Taipan This snake is the most venomous on Earth and is found in central and eastern Australia. Since it hunts mammals, its venom has evolved to be life-threatening to warm-blooded species, including humans. The venom from a single bite from the inland taipan is enough to eliminate 100 adult men. Somebody bitten by one of these snakes can pass away within 30 minutes. It usually grows up to about 6 feet long, but inland taipans have reached lengths over 8 feet. People generally don't come into contact with these dangerous creatures because they hang out in deep crevices and seldom travel above ground.